Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break. How's everyone doing on this fine Tuesday? So good to see everyone. So before we get into the week five of the No Limit Success Academy, um, has anybody done anything that we can celebrate this week? What have you done to move your business forward? I want to go to Rochelle. She said that, um, she said, thank you for the objection that we shared. She was able to get a lady onto a Zoom and this lady thought that the business was a scam, um, but basically the lady loved what she heard and she is just, she just needs to talk to her husband to get the okay. So congratulations, Rochelle. And, and I love that you took something that you learned, you implemented it, right and then it worked out so congratulations to you that is awesome anybody Thank else you. do anything that we can celebrate did you want to say something rochelle i'm sorry I was just saying thank you but she was really she saw the 10 minute video and then she saw you know what mm -mm. then i was telling her disney won't connect with a scam that's when she called me instead and that's when i got her to go on the webinar okay that's good yeah. that's thank good. you very good very good Karen says she has an appointment for two signups this week. Excellent, excellent. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. Anybody else? Good afternoon, y'all. Hey, Constance. What's up, hey, CJ? Good, good. Um, I got I, um, quite two new business partners last week. Um, a young lady called me at work. What's today? Sunday. She called me to Sunday. Today's Tuesday. She called me Sunday because she said she's been watching me and seeing what I've been doing. I'm like, oh, I didn't know I was posting that good stuff on my Facebook page. So um, she's someone I was actually speaking to like last year. Mm -hmm. and um, We did a three-way while I was in training for my TSA job. So she called me because she just wants to do the travel, but you know what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so we're going to speak today. Excellent. Wednesday, Wednesday, because she's busy this week. So we want to speak Wednesday. We have a three-way with her. And um, I have a couple of three-ways and onboardings this week. So God is moving this train. God is moving this train. I love it. I love it. And everybody is watching. Everybody is watching. When you think people are not watching you, that is when they're watching you. So you want to definitely stay consistent with your social media. Um, and remember, we're in a season right now, the way the economy is, I can say everybody is looking for a way to make extra income. Yep, I'm going to make that assumption. Everybody is looking for a way to make it easier to buy groceries and to keep gas in the car. So those people that have been watching you for years and years and years, now the stuff you're posting is really speaking to them. So you want to continue to be consistent with that. Shamika. Yes, go ahead. I just want to add something real quick because y'all know I work for the federal government, Department of Homeland Security. So the word is out there. I don't know if anybody watches the news and stuff like that. If y'all know anyone that's working for the federal government, I believe there's going to be a shutdown. So y'all get up, get them, get into their mailboxes, their inbox, their telephones, send a pigeon, but mm -hmm. get, with, <laughs> get with them, okay? Absolutely. And thank you for bringing that up, Constance. Y'all know I always preach about keeping your finger on the pulse of what's going on in the world so that you know how to market to people. And yes, we are this close from having a government shutdown and tens of thousands of people are going to be furloughed. And that means they're going to be without pay. And then the ones, the essentials that they keep on are going to be without pay too. So if you are considered essential, you will have to work for free if the government shuts down. Including military, um, military and air traffic control. So if you're doing travel, push those trains and the rental cars okay, and the cruises. All right, y'all. So yeah, definitely, um, you know, be aware of that. And just in general, don't get obsessed with the news, but you do need to watch the news um, you know, a few times a week to find out what's going on in the world. 
what major corp just about every major corporation is laying off so you need to reach out to those people who work for those corporations uh karen Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just going to piggyback what she said. And go, well, confirm, yesterday was National Daughters Day, and I had uh, dinner with my daughter, and she works for one of the big three here in Michigan, Detroit, and, you know, they're on strike, uh, and that's mainly why the government is next, because that's that's the big three. I mean, that's, that's a lot of people, and then they're it, it, she said she said that to me last time. I said the government. I'm gonna remember when that happened last time, because my son and daughter in law the work love working uh, for NASA and they were affect, affected with that government shutdown. So yeah, so I gave her some of my business cards, my P cards. I said, Pastor, when you on the picket line, because she's going on the picket line tomorrow. I said, when you're on the picket line, pass these out to help people because they're not getting anything. And it's did they strike? Well, they're getting the strike pay. But the strike bonus, but the people that are work for parts, mm -hmm. there are some people that work for uh, factories that just makes the parts. Mm -hmm. They have to lay them off because the strike budget will go zero if they do that. So yeah, it, it's it's happening, and we just thank God that we're in a position mm -hmm. already position ourselves, and we can use that and leverage that to help position other people. Absolutely, absolutely. Shamika says I have more three ways i exposed 20 people over the weekend and i have signups Woo! Go, Shabika. Go, Shabika. that is awesome i love it love it here's your fan uh, yeah well she ain't get the sign up yet the fan is for the actual sign ups but let me get it ready uh <laughs> I also ended the week with two new B Okay, Chrissy. Chrissy says she got two new BPs. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I need a fan. I need a fan. You got to you got to sign up. I had two new ones last week. Oh. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. Y'all got to see me. You just want to hear the pop, right? Y'all just want to hear the pop? Yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Martina. Well, it's the it's the yas for me. I like the yas. <laughs> <laughs> Martina said, I'm proud of myself for doing more in my business. That's what I um what I have been last month. That's good. Doing more in your business this month than last month. That is great, Martina. You know I'm happy to see that because you've been here with me from the beginning. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So now here's the question, y'all. And just comment, um, comment me or comment completed if this is you. How many of you watched the week five trip? Look, Shamika, can I even get it out my mouth? <laughs> How many of you watched the week five training video? For the No Limit Success Academy, comment completed in the chat. Do -do 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 -do. Just one person. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Okay, thank you, Karen. How many of you? All right, there y'all just slow typers. Is that what it was? Because I was getting nervous for a minute. I was, I was, I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting nervous. The week five, and uh, the week five video can be found um, in the playlist of the 40 days, 40 nights, what the work looks like um, playlist that is on my YouTube channel. All right. How many of you, and just type me in the chat, how many of you have not yet watched the week Five training video. Just comment me in the chat if you have not watched the week five training video. Okay. Carrie, are you participating in the No Limit Success Academy boot camp? Yes. 
Okay, so tell me it's Tuesday, Carrie. Why have you not watched the week five video yet? It will happen today. Okay, but that wasn't my question. I know. Life and life. So what are you going to do, Carrie, this week so that you don't let life stop you from doing what you need to do? I am u utilizing my DMO, trying to make sure I yes, have Don't say time. try. Don't say try. Oh, that's right. That, that, yeah. that gives you permission to fail. <laughs> no, I will continue to use the, my DMO to stay focused and uh, interact with more people. Okay and do all my reading and get caught up with my video. Okay, all right, that's good. And that's why we it. have the DMO, right? Right. Everybody should have, we're in week five, everybody should have their DMO, your daily method of operation, your schedule of everything that you need to do. All you gotta do is follow it. Don't overthink it, just follow your DMO. Just do what you say you're gonna do. And that requires discipline. So at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, discipline. And just like we expect our kids to do what they supposed to do, guess what, parents? <laughs> you gotta do what you supposed to do as well, right? Don't be yelling at them and you ain't do what you supposed to do. Just saying. Bethany, how come you ain't watch your week five video? Well, that would actually be a refresher for me because I was in the the original boot camp, mm -hmm. And of course I watched it then. So, um, that's the only why, but the, the only reason why. But I will be watching it between today and tomorrow. Okay. That's the pressure. Right. Yeah. Um. So Quinesha, Shamika posted the list. There you go. All right. Good. 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 Constance, how come you ain't watch it yet? It's Tuesday. This was supposed to be done on Sunday. I haven't watched it yet. I'm not making excuses. I got to make adjustments. But um, y'all pray for me that I can leave my job soon, please. Because I work at 3 a.m. shift. And then getting in my car and going to sleep. Because I got to go back out again and do some more shifts. So they have me on x-ray. And I need my focus for that. Because I ain't trying to get no guns and bombs on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep the skies friendly. Trying to keep the skies friendly. Yeah, that 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 three a.m. shift is rough. So you know, you may need to make an adjustment on your schedule, uh, maybe on your day off to watch the video. If you know Sunday is a little yeah. scary for you. All yeah, right, so um, I'm working on my weekends are Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So okay, those my, my warrior days. Okay, all right, good, 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 good. All right, so let's talk about before we get into the week five. I had a request from Miss Christina about the peak interest business cards. So some of you might be new on here, so I'm just gonna give a little refresher and share my screen. Now, the peak interest business cards um, that me and Director Kamet Turner came up with when we first, first joined the business seven years ago, we designed these cards or created the concept of these cards because we both worked at the same job in corporate and we could not talk to our coworkers about the business while at work. But guess what? We wanted to prospect all of them, right? And so because we couldn't stand at their desk and you know talk to them about the business, we created these peak interest business cards that we could just, you know, walk by their desk and slide it to them. And then they could read the card and see exactly what we wanted to say, but we couldn't say, right, to peak them. And so I'm going to share with you a design of the peak business card that I use. Um, you could design your own card. You, you could put whatever you want on it. Um, you just want to make sure that you're not um trying to sell travel because this is actually for the planet marketing side of the business so you want to have you know you can create different styles maybe you have a card that you use in the summer versus one that you use in the winter i don't know you could change it to be whatever you want so i'm going to share my screen and just show an image of the back of uh, the card 
And on the back of the card, you could create a QR code for whatever you want. Um, my QR code goes to my landing page that I have, I have created. Before I had a landing page, I had my QR code go to the big picture video, right? Or you can, if you have an online calendar, maybe you have the QR code go to your online calendar. Totally up to you. But let me say this. This is not to replace the Planet Marketing Black Cards, okay? This is not to replace the Planet Marketing Black Cards. I still use my Planet Marketing Black Cards. I use my Planet Marketing Black Cards when I do have the time to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone. I have, you know, 15, 20 minutes, we're having a conversation, we're having lunch, you know, maybe we're at a networking event, but I have the time to talk to them, to find out what they're doing, what they're about. I have the time to share with them who I am, what I do, what I'm about. You know, we have an in-depth conversation. And then when I leave them, I leave them with my Planet Marketing Black card because I've already had the opportunity to share with them what I do and I found out what their need is. But in those instances where, like at my job, you, you really can't talk to anybody or maybe it's the cashier at your local Starbucks or maybe it's the you know, the uh, the person you met at the shoe store, right? Just kind of in passing. That is where the peak interest business card um, would shine for you. So let me share my screen. Where am I at? And here's what it would look like. So go ahead and take a picture if you need to take a picture or a screenshot. Okay, everybody got that. And then on the back. Wait one second, I'm sorry. I got it. Thank you, Tanisha. You're welcome. You're welcome. And if you use Canva, you know, Canva has the QR code. So you could just, you know, click on the QR code and then you type the URL you want it to go to. So that's totally up to you. Make sure you have a nice, crisp, professional picture of yourself. The picture is very important um, because you want people to remember you. You want people to remember you and not just be a business card that's in their junk drawer, right? You want them to remember the conversation, all right? Any questions about peak interest cards? Where did you get the cards from that you printed the information on? I Great like question. So I, you can order through Canva. Um, I create the cards in Canva and then I download the image as a JPEG, and then I upload the image to Vistaprint because I order everything for Vistaprint. Okay, okay. That's just what I do. But there's people who have ordered them from Canva. I've just never done that because I've been using Vistaprint for probably 20 years. Um, so I design everything there. And the cool thing I love about um, you know Vistaprint there's just so many things that you can order from there, you know, so you can, if you have your logo for your business, you can create mouse pads and mugs and pens and stuff like that. Um, and let me give this idea as well. I don't celebrate Halloween, um, but I live in a community where a lot of people do and, it, you know, it's very kid friendly. And so, you know, when Halloween comes, I'm going to have a big bin of, um, candy for the kids but for the parents i give out my business cards so they're going to get a peak interest business card from me and they're also going to get my um my travel agency business card and i may order you know some pens or something or little notebooks with my logo on it or something like that to kind of give as a gift to the neighbors so that might be something that you want to do to invest back into your business beverly Hello, Director Burke. Uh, what 
What size are your cards? Are yours regular card size or? Uh, yeah, I just use in in Canva. There's a template for business cards. Okay. And I just use that. So whatever, I have no idea what size that is. I just use a template that says business cards. And I like, again, ordering the cards through Vistaprint because you can choose square cards. You can choose rounded cards. You could choose what stock of paper that you use. You can choose matte. You can choose glossy. And let me say this. Don't get cheap cards. I cannot stand. So... Recently, I was in the presence of a director and they gave me their business card and I, I promise you, it felt like they printed it on copy paper. It was so, it wasn't quite, it was heavier than copy paper, but it was very, very cheap. And so... I feel like you only have one time to make a first impression. And if you give me a business card that I feel like it was made on recycled cardboard, it's just, I automatically, it just puts a negative thought in my head. Because it, it for me, it screams, you cut corners on everything, you cheat. So for me personally, I mean, I'm always gonna get the best stock business card. I, I upgrade everything when it comes to my business cards because that is your first impression or one of your first next to your smile, right? Your presentation, but that tangible business card, if it feels cheap, like I'm not with, don't, Staples and some of those, unless they have a, a heavy card, you want a heavy card stock for your business cards. You want your business cards to stand out. Please don't do cheap. It doesn't represent you well if you go cheap with your business cards. And remember this phrase, y'all write this down because you'll hear it a lot in Planet Marketing. We say it all the time. How you do one thing is how you do all things. So if your business card is cheap, that means your work ethic is not up to par, right? Your customer service is not up to par. It just represents a lot of stuff that you do. So don't go cheap with your business cards. Reinvest in your business and get quality business cards. Constance? Yeah, I want to say, even if you're thinking about, um, because you know, we're coming out of corporate. A lot of us are coming out of corporate. When your resume, when you sent in the resume, what that, what kind of stock paper did you put your resume on? So it's the same thing. You're selling yourself to your sell air quote, selling yourself to your employer. Now we're selling ourselves to our prospective um, business partners, to prospective clients. So like Tanish Director Breck is saying, you want that card stock to be right. Mm -hmm. And I learned that also when I started my cake business, I was in a, um, in New York, I was with a women's organization. We were all different businesses, networking and stuff like that, you know, and everything. And they told us the same thing. Your card, your business, that's when we was doing business cards back in the day. You had your little book with little business cards in them. Your business card should always be something that's tangible and some because when you put it it's like a handshake mm -hmm. it's like a handshake yep you want it firm <laughs> any questions about the peak interest business cards is this the first time seeing it for any of you kim really where you been kim where you been i don't know how i've never seen it but i took a picture of it believe that Wow. I don't understand how you missed that one. I have the QR code to the big picture video on the back of my black cards. But okay, good. That's you know. smart. That's smart. Yeah. When I reordered my black card, um, I up, upgraded and put that on the back as well. Rochelle? You're welcome, Christine. I was stuck for a little bit, but I was just, but I, I had something to um, answer a question real quick. Uh -huh. Sometimes I run out of business cards, right? Mm -hmm. But wouldn't it be good to give off something better than nothing? Because there was a waitress and I had written them. I figured, you know, I'll just, you know, print it out, the QR code, and then write 
a, something on it, like a personal note handwritten in it. Mm -hmm. But it looked personal. I didn't have no more. It wouldn't be better than nothing. Well, that's where you can utilize the electronic business card in your mobile app. Yeah, but they don't have the QR code. They just have the... No, but you capture their information. Even if you're just giving, I know some people won't give you their info like that. You just, you know, making, you know, they're giving them a decision to see if they're open it's, to it or it's not. It's all about your conversation and how you connect with them. So if you connect with them, you're building rapport and you connect with them and, you know, you're asking a question, like, let me, let me give y'all an example. Uh, yesterday in Orlando, we had um, Director Walter Powell, Walter and Tiffany Powell were there. And Mr. Powell did a training on how he prospects when he's out and about. And so he gave this example. He said, you know, every time um, he and his wife go out to eat, he got to prospect the server. The same thing I do, right? But he'll say something, you know, he'll strike up conversation, you know, like, oh, you know, you have a pretty smile. No, he said he, when the server asked, you know, can I get you anything? And he said, just a smile to make them laugh, right? I want to smile, you know, and then he'll, you know, ask them about how long they've been working there or whatever. And then he'll ask them, you know, if you could go anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would you go? Right, he'll start and let's say the person says, oh, I'd go to, you know, Jamaica or whatever. And then he'll ask them, if I could show you how to go to Jamaica for wholesale, not retail, right? Pennies on a dollar, possibly earn a commission and write it off on your taxes. You would want to know more about that, wouldn't you? That would interest you, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it? Right. And that's going to make the person say yes. Right. And so, Rochelle, once they say yes to that, now you have the opportunity to say, all right, you know, I'm going to send you a video, take a look at it. And if it's something that you're interested in, we can discuss it further. And then now you pull out your phone and say, I'm going to text you what, you know, what, what's your first name, what's your last name, what's your cell phone number? Okay. I have forgot about the black card. I'm used to those hand cards, but it's funny because we, we built rapport, but then I forgot about it. Yeah, I've just been giving my own because until I get some more. Right. Thanks, though. You're welcome. Yeah. So you know what? Your mobile app. Go ahead, Constance. And you know what? When you on the when you send them the virtual card, the big picture video is attached is on that. So it's because it's going to your website. So the big picture video. I don't know how. I don't know, but it's on. That. I've seen. I'm like, oh my goodness, the big picture video is actually on here. So that's kind of good. You have that. But see, you to go. You have that information. They have your information, and then you can also just for those that didn't, you just can go ahead and send them that big picture video as well, because then they can at least have that too. Yeah, I love, I love it. I love it. And I love Des Destiny shared her card in the chat. I love it. Right. She did a different variation. I love the image. It says let's connect. I love that. I love that. Karen. We can't see her card. Can you put it on the thing? Because we, we're not in the oh, it's in the chat. It's in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. OK, I could just pull it up. Oh, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to piggyback on what um, Miss um, Kim said mm -hmm. about the the peak she never saw the peak just to let you know the peak works i only saw it here the first time when she talked about it the first time we were here and um it it, it works we, we're using it like crazy and um people are using it and and i have like she said the the calendar on it but only thing about the calendar sometimes it's a i don't know if it's a glitch with me and my phone but sometimes i don't get the that is on my calendar or the thing until i i really almost last minute you know or late or i guess it just depends on when they do it i'm, I'm still trying to get used to it but what it's teaching me is to look at my calendar every day look at my email every day because you I'm, i got these cards out here you never know who's going to make an appointment with you if they are interested because that's what it says on the card if you if you it's two qr codes if you like the video then make an appointment you mm -hmm. know, and do that. So, and then what Miss um, um, Rochelle just said about the 
about, yes, doing that. I love that. And I do that, which you do too, uh, to be good with the, uh, I don't celebrate Halloween either, but the kids are coming, but I do that. And I always attach my business card on their little bag of candy that I give them. Uh, and hopefully they'll give it to their mom because sometimes they don't come up to the, they just put them out on the driveway and they walk up. But yeah, I, I, I uh, wanted to say about the the card that you were saying about the video. So it's not really attached on it. When you do pull it out and get, get, do, because I know a lot of times this is what I was doing at first and then it just dawned on me to just keep, just keep everything in one place. You know, that when you get your number, after you've done the Walter Paul thing and what he said about doing that, put it right in your leads in the in the in the leads because you can now that they're in the leads, you can send that business card mm -hmm. and then you can go and you can also send the you have to send the video, you know, separately or That's because it doesn't want and, and you want to do it. I think you have to do it separately so you can see. Mm -hmm when they looked at it. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Make sure you're using the leads, adding them to your leads or your pipeline, whatever you're using. Um, and those so notes, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, yes, but those notes, notes, where you met notes in it, yes, because you, you put names in and then you're like, well, who is this person and where did I meet them? The leads has a notes page and you put the date that you met them, where you met them, what the conversation was, because you've had to have a conversation to to establish that rapport to even get the number. But those notes are gold because when you go back and you and they remember, I mean, they are impressed when you say, yeah, you know, how's your son? You was telling me about his his baseball game and stuff like that. Did they win? And I'm like, oh, my God, you remember that? No, I read my notes. <laughs> but I don't tell them that. I don't right. tell them that. <laughs> Absolutely. Shamika shared uh, her card. I love it. It's a postcard size. I love that um, because it's going to stand out. I love the fact that she chose yellow because, again, it stands out from other cards. I mean, get creative with your cards. Think, out, think outside the box. Think outside the box. All right. Any other questions or comments about the peak interest business cards? All hearts and minds are clear. Right. I have a question, Director yes. Burt. Okay, is it possible to have two QR codes on your um, peak interest card? Because, oh my gosh, the convention video, wow. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that would be a great video um, to put there. That would be a okay, great video. Okay, so I just would have to try to, I guess, go in Canva and figure out how to do two QR codes. Yeah, you get to, once you create the QR code, you can scale it down, make it smaller so that you're only using half of the card and then you, you know, create another QR code to fit on the side. What I would say is don't over order cards. Don't over order cards. I had to throw away a lot of cards because just different things that you're not even thinking of pop up. So don't go ordering 5,000 cards. Because guess what? If you order too many cards and then next year the new convention video comes out, but you still have the 2023 convention, but the next year is even better and more updated. Now you're stuck with cards that aren't good, <laughs> right? Or if you scale your business and now you, you know, you have a landing page, you got a website or whatever, you know, you just don't want to have too many. Um, and the other thing I would say is when you first order your cards, the first time, order a small batch. Because you may catch an error or something on it. And then you're like, oh, the font is too small. Well, go ahead. You could take those and put them at, you know, put them, put them on a bulletin board, put them in a store, whatever. And then you can go ahead and make the adjustment and order a new card. So typically when I create a card for the first time, I'll order, you know, like 50 or 100, whatever the smallest amount is first. So I can receive it, see it, make sure I like it, make sure there's no errors. And then if I really, really like it, then I'll go back and order more. Invistaprint always has a, a coupon somewhere. And you can check the Planet Now blog. A lot of times they have um, coupon codes in there as well. So just... That was just a little tip for you. Okay, let's talk about week five. Doing a PBR. 
And we talked about the plug and play. And so everyone, if you are serious about hitting your next goal, you want to have weekly PBRs. You want to find a way to expose groups of people at a time. Now, if you're doing a PBR at your home, this is going to be with your warm market. These are people that you know. These are not strangers, right? These may be your neighbors, your family, your friends, your coworkers. These are the people that you're inviting um, to your PBR at your home. Now, if you're that person who likes to work with your cold market and you, you know, you're attracting people, then maybe you meet at a Starbucks, right? Maybe you meet at a Panera. Um, maybe you meet at a hotel lobby right but find a place maybe it's your um if you live in an apartment if you have a clubhouse even if you live in a, a regular community i don't live in an apartment but we have a clubhouse i could easily you know meet with uh someone that i don't know from my cold market at the clubhouse but you definitely want to have weekly pbrs and how many of you have been on the 21 minute business blitz? Just type I have in the chat. If you have participated and watched the any of the 21 minute business blitz. Shamika, Martina, Beverly, Kwanisha. Rochelle, Rhonda, Destiny, Arthetis. If you have not watched or been on one of the 21 minute business blitz, put I have not in the chat. Okay. I need you guys to get on one of them this week. So for the rest of this week, Tuesday through Friday, 7 p.m., 8 p.m., and 9 p.m. It's at the top of the hours. 7 p.m., 8 p.m. <laughs> Chrissy, funny. <laughs> I need you to keep up, Chrissy. I need you to keep up. 7 p.m., 8 p.m., and 9 p.m. for the rest of this week. Yes, Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. We're doing 21-minute business presentations. And you too can do this. 21 minutes. We start off with playing the 2023 Planet Marketing Freedom, Project Freedom video, which is just eight minutes and some change. And immediately after that, we transition and then we play the big picture video, 10 minutes and some change. And then at the end, we say, get back with the person that invited you and it's done. That's it, 21 minutes, in and out. And it's awesome. Because not only are we showing the culture with the Project Freedom video, but they're also hearing testimonies. They're learning about the um, Planet Cares Foundation. They're seeing the awards. And then at the end, you got Eric Thomas putting his stamp of approval on our business project. It's so powerful. You want to get your people, thank you, Beverly. She just posted the flyer. You want to get your people on this presentation. 21 minutes. Go back and reach out to those people and say, hey, I need you to pick a time. I need you to get on this because I can't let you miss this. 
I need to stop playing, cousin. Shamika? Uh, I was saying that Blitz, that um, the video, the convention video that we showed, it actually changed one of my prospects' mind because initially she was telling me, oh, no, you know, no, this is something I can't do. And I guess she had some time to think about it. And then she had to come to Jesus moment. So <laughs> she sent me a text message. Let me hear her voice. She said, I was, I just been praying and asking God and something is really leading me, you know, to this business. So I want to thank you for keep following up with me. And her name's Shamika too. Mm -hmm. So we kind of connected that way. But um, she said that video, you know, hearing the other women and some of the stuff that she was going through, she could relate to it. And so um, she's going to get started. I'm going to follow back up with her um, next week. But she definitely had to come to Jesus moment after seeing that uh, convention uh, video. So, and it's been, this is, I've been prospecting her for about a year or so now. So she saw that and it was like, yeah, I need to stop playing. So get, the blitz is awesome. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. Beverly? Yeah, I want to ditto what um, Shamika said. Um, I had three um, guests on yesterday. Uh, one guest I've been talking to for a long time. She was on over the weekend. She did the weekend and then she came back yesterday and she's ready to go. She just says she has to, whatever, she has to move the money from whatever. She, she's coming on tomorrow. And then I had two other pe people. One lady called herself Prospect and Me, but I switched that around and in a prospect of her she's in Mary Kay and so she was on last night and those testimonies you know just because you hear you hear the story you know you're going to see the glory when you come to the when you meet the people but you hear the story and every time I watch that video I mean I got tears in my eyes that convention video to see and what these people have gone through and then you can express it you know our our, our prospects can actually see that so you know, please join it. Please just get your, you know, I had one lady, I said, now look, I just told her just like that. Now you keep saying you're not, in, you don't know what you're saying no to, just get on. I said, 21 minutes, give me 21 minutes. She's like, okay, Beverly, I'm gonna give you 21 minutes. Even though she said she's a number three, even after the video, she said she's number three, but it gave me the boldness to say, now come on now. And so just get them on there, just invite people. And we got all all kind of times and opportunities for them to be there. So phenomenal. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, the convention video is on the Planet Marketing Vimeo, their Vimeo account, their Vimeo page, just like all their other videos. And it was also featured in the Planet Now blog last week. So when y'all get the blog, you need to make sure you're reading it because you're missing out on information about the business and about the company. And we don't want to be those people who you're asking people to join your company and you don't know what's going on with your company because you ain't even reading your own blog. <laughs> you got to you gotta stay plugged in. I always kind of skim through the Planet Now blog just to you know see if there's some information posted that um, I don't want to miss. But yeah, the video is there. Also, the video, first, Danette, you're in my Team Looks Platinum group? No, I don't. I just think the Facebook group, I think. Who's your, oh, no, you know, oh, yeah, that's right, because you're under. Um, um, Cindy and Aaron. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the Planet Now blog. I found it in the planet. I found it. Thank oh, you. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Yep. It's in there. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you're leveraging that video. It's powerful. But so let me show you. So yesterday, no, the day before it's Sunday, I did a business launch for someone, um, you know, via Zoom. And what I did, and I highly, highly recommend you all do this. For those of you that are conducting business launches or even doing a PBR via Zoom, the start time for this particular launch was at 515. Now, y'all know, usually when you launch at somebody, the guests never get on on time. 
they start strolling in five after. So number one, you always want to tell people to get on five minutes early, at least, right? So that hopefully they get on on time. But what I did was at exactly 5.15, I just immediately started playing the Project Freedom Convention video. Because now that, number one, it allowed for the business launch to start on time for the people who showed up on time. And it gave a whole eight minutes for the rest of the guests to get on. So then after that video, then I had the business partner, you know, thank their guests from coming, share their story, edify me. Then I shared my story, then played the big picture video, came back, questions, boom. So using that Project Freedom video is a great way to start your PBRs on time and be able to, you know, it's automatically going to make the people want to pay attention to what you have to say after the video was played. Now they're even more engaged um, because the um, video was so good. Chrissy just shared the link in the chat. Thank you, Christy. So make sure you bookmark it. Bookmark it, copy and paste the link somewhere. I have a notes section in my phone that I have a whole bunch of links to things that I may want to send people. Because as of right now, this video is not in the mobile app. I have no idea why. Matter of fact, I'm going to message Leanne and have her at it. It needs to be in the mobile app for sure. Matter of fact, we got a messenger right now. <laughs> Any questions about how to set up a weekly PBR? Oh, here's the other thing. Um, Create a flyer for your weekly PBR. Have it at the same time every week. I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. I'm gonna share my screen. Simple, every Wednesday at seven, presentation starts at 7.30. So create a flyer for your PBR as well. And stay consistent with it. Team up with other business partners that are in your area. But Can this you put is that back up for a moment, please. Sure. Absolutely. But this is a way for you to grow big and grow fast to hit your next promotion, especially if there is not a corporate meeting happening in your market. Don't wait for another leader to come. You start by doing a PBR at your house or in your community. Make sure your PBR starts on time. Make sure you're dressed professionally. And like I said, if your house is not set up to conduct a professional PBR, then find a clubhouse, find a restaurant back room, something. You don't want to have kids running around screaming during that time. You don't want your house smelling like you just cooked dinner. That's why I don't cook. I like my house smelling like food. I can't do it. Me either. Right? I hate it. Lock your pets up in another room and don't have a whole bunch of food, some bottled water. Any questions on doing a weekly PBR? Week five support. Beverly, you have anything you want to add to that? Oh, 
for as the uh, PBR? Yes. Um, no, I think it was covered nicely. Um, you know, and, and I think just for me, I can definitely say that going back and revisiting, re-listening to week five videos, going back through this entire um, 40 days, 40 nights has really helped me to, you know, get my DMO back up and the importance of doing the weekly, like she said, the weekly PBR, I'm not going to make it if I don't do what I need to do. I am not going to get there because the, it's been shown, it's been proven, it, the evidence is there. If I want to make my levels, if I want to become a one star, two star, three star, I'm going to do the work, what everybody else is doing. And so I'm willing to do the work. That's just it. There's no, <laughs> nothing else to be said. That's, that's it. I've got to do the work. And you see, I'm saying, I, I've got to do it. So do the work. Let's just all do the work and we can go to glory together. That's all Absolutely. I got. Absolutely. Karen? I just wanted to say that um, doing the PBRs weekly um, is something that we started doing here in the Detroit area because it's that's we don't have a hotel meeting anymore. So we have it here at my home um, when I'm in town. If it's not me and town, uh, that is another business partner, but we're trying to be consistent with it. And I know someone was on here the other day, wanted to know about the Detroit um, group, but I put it in chat. I don't know if she is on here today, but this is it. This is headquarters, um, the living room, the flat screen TV. We've got everything set up, the HDMI cord and the, uh, uh, you know, back up with the uh, cast, Chromecast, you know, because sometimes that don't work, you know, when when internet, because when the internet fails you, you got to go back to old school with HDMI cord. Yep. And our, as far as our refreshments, water, coffee, chips, and dip. Here you go. Sometimes, sometimes people be trying to sneak other stuff in here. I'm like, nope, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we got to keep it duplicatable. Exactly. Because we want them to be able to do it. They, and, you know, they come in like, oh, my goodness, I don't have all that. I can't do all that. You Look, coffee, water, chips, and dip. And, and chips and dip is even optional, so. Right. I don't want you to get <laughs> all in. over my velvet couch. So we're exactly. doing chips and dip. You get water. Mint, if you have that onion dip, you want some mint. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Shamika? Okay. I was going to say, I'm going to be using, utilizing um, what Crystal Brown, Director Crystal Brown had um, suggested on the week five was, I'm going to ask a family member because um, I'm going to make, I make a, I made a big decision, but it's not final yet. So I'll let y'all know when it's final, but I'm going to be utilizing my sister or my mom and say, hey, um, you know, can I have a private business reception over here? I'll give you a vacation voucher since y'all like cruising or, uh, you know, whatever. I got a voucher for you. Um, and it's going to be small people, people that we know it's not going to be a huge thing. And I don't want a huge thing anyway, because some of them, you don't want in your business, but that's a whole nother conversation, but <laughs> I'm going to utilize that, um, for the coming, um, weeks ahead, because I feel like that's the only piece that I'm missing because I do everything else. I call people, I PS3, but I need to, I need to get those, um, those private business reception in home um, to really kind of bring it, bring it in. So, yeah. I agree. I agree. 100%. I can't wait to hear what you got plans. Hmm. What might that be? <laughs> Anybody else? Any comments, feedback, questions? All right. Y'all ready to start planning those PBR? I I'm going to say this. The people that are serious, about securing a legacy, we'll do weekly PBRs. And the ones who just talk and smack are not. So we'll see what you do. Director Burke, I just put in the chat the uh, assignments for week five that came out of the No Limits. It yes. is the things that you need to be looking at and doing for week five. And just like uh, Sh uh, Shamika said, you know, and, and the other. Uh, uh, Karen, I believe, you know, making sure that listen to the video, fo follow the video. It has everything in there we need to do. There was two additional uh, videos that um, that are in the playlist. How I use my um, cell phone calendar for follow-ups. 
that you need to listen to. Very short, but very profound. And your network is your um, net worth. Those two videos, along with uh, what you have for week five, can really help us all. That's all I got. I love it. I love it. Um, I love it. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask, so the, since she brought that up about the assignments, so she was saying that put put a picture of the PBI and the setup and everything, but we we don't, so where would we, those who of us are, who are not in the, where would we put ours? You can just text me and show me that. Okay. All right, think we can do that. That's more for accountability. You know, I okay. just want to see that people actually did the work. You know, do you have the setup? Do you know how to set it up? You know, people can't duplicate something that they have an experience and stuff. And sometimes it's scary to, you know, go out there and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna do a PBR, but yet you haven't connected your laptop. You don't even have a HDMI. Like you, you gotta actually set it up as if you're about to do it. Matter of fact, go ahead and do it, do a run through. You practice it. Me and my husband used to practice doing the presentation at our house i'd sit there he'd do it and then we'd switch off or he does travel i do comp vice versa and we would time ourselves because the first time we did the run through it was too long it was like okay we need to cut that we we need to edit that <laughs> and so we would actually time ourselves while we were doing the pbrs at our house so that we can have it done in and out and you want the actual information to be completed within 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes, yeah. actually, I think, I think, actually we had it at 40 minutes because when we did it at 30 minutes, it kind of felt rushed. So again, this is for the PBR at your house, right? By 40 minutes, the whole business presentation should be done if you're using the PowerPoint. If you're using the videos, it's going to happen. It'll keep you even on track even more. Because they're watching the videos and then the rest of your time can be spent, you know, engaging with them, asking questions, you know, sharing your testimony or leveraging someone else's testimony. But it, it, this is going to look different for everybody, whether you're using some people are going to use the PowerPoint presentation. Some people are going to just use the big picture video. Some people might use the big picture video and the project freedom video. You know, some people might say, you know what, I'm using the big picture video and I'm using the ITA test drive because they're very interested in the travel. So you got to look at what's working for you. You definitely want to include the big picture video because that shows the business but then you may want, depending on your audience, you may want to add in one of the other videos to complement it. And again, anybody can do this. If you just joined the business this month, you could do the plug and play. And then you have a senior business partner available at the end to answer the questions. All right. So I'm looking for everyone to schedule a PBR for either this week or next week. And so when we come back on Thursday, I want to know what date. I want to know what date. A live in person. PBR. All right. So everyone have an amazing, amazing um, day. If again, if you are on my team, don't forget, it's the last Tuesday of the month. So Mr. Moore will be doing a business overview on our team zoom tonight. So it's a great time to invite um, guests onto our team zoom tonight um, to get the business overview. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Love y'all. Happy too.